CEO Coinbase confirmed Ripple XRP next Bitcoin minus $60,000 overnight. U.S. Representative Brad Sherman recently advised the Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, to go after crypto exchanges that supported Ripple's XRP token. However, in a recent interaction with Fox Business journalist, Eleanor Tourette Sherman made another claim against the token. Welcome to the Finance Up channel. If you liked this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. Do you think the analysts are right about XRP? Write the answers in the comments. Giving away 500 XRP at the end of the week. One random subscriber will receive XRP coins. Take a look at the instructions in the comments section. All you need to do is write the word XRP, watch the video to the end, to like and subscribe. The litigation between the Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, and Ripple entered the phase of summary proceedings, when the parties began to file petitions for a summary judgment. According to lawyer James K. Phelan, yesterday the parties filed petitions for a summary judgment. All documents are filed classified, because the judge has not yet decided to what extent they can be disclosed to the public. Ripple and individual defendants, Chris Larson and Brad Garlinghouse, filed not only petitions for summary judgment, but also filed a legal memorandum in support of the summary judgment. According to Phelan, Ripple also filed an application under Rule 56. 1. 106 proofs and a declaration of a statement made by Michael K. Kellogg, a famous American writer. The Ripple defendants filed with the seal of the seal a motion for summary judgment, a legal memorandum in support of the motion for summary judgment, a statement under Rule 56. 1. A declaration by Michael K. Kellogg and 106 exhibits. Similarly, the Securities and Exchange Commission also filed a motion for summary judgment against Ripple and individual defendants, also classified. The Securities and Exchange Commission also filed a sealed copy of the statement attributed to Daphne A. Waxman, Senior Legal Representative of the Cyber Division of the Securities and Exchange Commission's Enforcement Division. In addition, the SEC sealed about 400 exhibits, according to the calculations of lawyer Phelan. Attorney Phelan stated that the Securities and Exchange Commission also filed a memorandum of law supporting summary judgment in a Rule 56. One statement, along with statements by Jorge G. Tenrero and Leighton F. Stewart. Since then, the SEC has filed its memorandum in support of its motion for summary judgment, statements by Jorge G. Tenrero and Leighton F. Stewart, a statement on Rule 56. 1. As well as hundreds of additional documents. Screenshots of the documents are below. It is noteworthy that all these petitions were filed yesterday under seal, classified, until the parties meet and confer to determine the necessary corrections that will be made. It is expected that in accordance with the recently approved briefing schedule on all sealing issues related to the summary trial, the parties will meet tomorrow to determine the necessary corrections to the latest submitted briefings. After the parties make corrections, the edited versions of the summary for summary proceedings will be available to the public on September 19, 2022. On Monday, September 19, 2022, the parties will submit publicly available edited versions of summaries in support of petitions for a summary judgment, making only those preliminary corrections requested by the parties, lawyer fee. The Chamber of Digital Commerce officially wants to join the case of Ripple v. SEC, and submits a petition to the court for amicus status, friend of the court. The Chamber of Digital Commerce, the world's leading blockchain trading organization, is requesting permission to file a summary opinion as part of Ripple's ongoing lawsuit against the SEC. According to the request addressed to Judge Annalisa Torres, the Chamber of Commerce and Industry attached copies of the amicus brief, a memorandum of law in a statement by Lilia Tesler, the organization's lawyer. The Chamber of Digital Commerce noted that its interest in filing an amicus application as part of the lawsuit stems from its commitment to promoting the development of digital assets in the blockchain industry. Although it cannot establish whether the sale of XRP is a security, the Chamber said it is interested in providing clarity on the legal framework for the digital assets underlying the investment contract. Maintaining this distinction is crucial to creating a predictable legal environment through a technology neutral precedent, which this court has the authority to do the Chamber of Digital Commerce noted. The Chamber of Digital Commerce stated that it should be granted permission to file an amicus brief in a lawsuit due to its extensive experience in dealing with the application of U.S. securities laws in the blockchain space. In addition, 
the association stated that its request should be satisfied, since it occupies a unique position in the event that it is not associated with any of the parties in the lawsuit. It is noteworthy that the chamber stated that its amicus note would focus on a different point of view of the parties, which has since been the legal standard of the court's decision when setting a precedent for the cryptocurrency space. For the above reasons, the Chamber respectfully requests that this court grant the application for permission to file an amicus opinion in this case, attached as evidence A to the accompanying statement of Lily Tesler, the Chamber concluded. Meanwhile, the Chamber's participation in the trial was disclosed for the first time last week after a joint proposal submitted by the parties to regulate all sealing issues related to summary proceedings. Lawyer Jeremy Hogan believes that the organization's position in the case will not differ from what it filed in Telegram's lawsuit against the SEC, adding that the chamber will argue that, although the sale of XRP could be a security, the token is not inherently a security. On September 19, the XRP community is waiting for important statements, since according to the court schedule, a limited edited motion for a summary judgment is expected to be published. As expectations grow ahead of this date, James K. Phelan shared what the public can see. He stated in a chain of tweets that only edited versions of the summaries will be visible on September 19. The ongoing process between the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, and Ripple has entered the long-awaited phase of making a final decision. Both parties have recently submitted petitions regarding the proceedings. Meanwhile, before the decisive trial begins, Lawyer James Phelan said what the public can expect from the next court decision in the XRP case on Monday, September 19, 2022. The defendants SEC and Ripple submitted a joint proposal on schedule. District Judge Torres approved the proposal. The presented plan seems very specific as to what documents will be made public in the case of XRP. However, it also mentions a fixed date for its disclosure. According to Phelan's lawyer, an edited version of the submitted summaries will be published on September 19, 2022. The public will not be able to receive actual declarations and documents. He stressed that these documents will eventually arrive after a decision is made on the briefing on secrecy. The lawyer said that the submitted notes will be long. However, links and quotations from declarations and exhibits will be visible. However, the actual documents will not be disclosed until a decision is made at the classified briefing regarding the sealing in the XRP case. Meanwhile, Phelan suggested that a court decision on Dober's pending motion for sealing is possible. He added that this directly overlaps the issues of sealing the final court decision. According to the expert, this can certainly affect the schedule. The lawyer also refused the expected terms. However, Third Party B submits a motion to amend the application of Third Party B filed by the Commission in the XRP case. This is an appendix to the Securities and Exchange Commission's proposal for the proposed solution. He mentioned that in the Second Circuit, the district courts apply a three-part analysis to determine whether memoranda should be sealed. The current price of XRP for today you can see yourself on the screens, and the trading volume for 24 hours is 1,294,436,065 US dollars. We are updating our XRP price in US dollars in real time. XRP has dropped 4.08% in the last 24 hours. Do you think XRP will be able to win the court and restore its former price? Write the answers in the comments. That's it for today. Thank you for watching this video to the end, if you liked it, then don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel.